Hello everyone. Welcome to this info session about the DTC. My name is Sonia. I'm the head of allies here at the Transformational Travel Council. It's a pleasure to be your host today. I can see here a few people joined. Hi, Huck, and Akira, Ash, Karen, welcome. Lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you. So this session, I'm gonna let more people come in. In this session, we are gonna talk about um, the Transformational Travel Council, who we are, what we do. But before we get started, I love to use this opportunity always as an opportunity to meet each other, to also maybe do some networking and learn more about each other businesses. So I would love if you can maybe share in the chat or because I see, you know, we are kind of a small group today. So maybe we can open our mics and very briefly uh, share uh, our names, where we are based or where we are from and what we do. What's, uh, you know, if you have a business or what do you do that is uh, related with transformation of travel. And also please feel free to share your details in the chat. Uh, if you have a LinkedIn profile, uh, you want to connect with each other or you have your website or any details that you want. So after the meeting, you can connect, um, and, you know, maybe continue this conversation. Um, I'm going to start with uh, Hook, Toppen, and then Akira Morita. If you're going to share a few seconds about who you are. Well, good morning, everyone from San Francisco. I'm Hugh Coppen. Um, I'm uh, I'm based in San Francisco, but I run a, uh, a safari travel business, which is um, quite different from the typical safaris. Um, I grew up in in Southern Africa in Zimbabwe, um, so for me, it's uh, it's an opportunity to take people back to a country that I feel very deeply about, um, and most importantly, to give them a uh, uh, an exposure that will hopefully uh, provide both a personal and a professional uh, transformation for them. Um, we spend a lot of time and and uh, obviously in the bush and wildlife, but we're in a huge, vast, private wilderness, and there's virtually nobody else there at all. We are we have no connection on cell. We have no connection on Wi-Fi on TV. So they are there in this place. Um, uh, and and what happens is as a result is that they get very much de more deeply into it. Uh, they have no distractions in, in, in the way of all of our daily distractions. And importantly, um, we watch them as they start to rediscover what's important to them in life, what they want to get out of their, their life going going forward. Um, we introduce a lot of different topics. We have daily indabas, and indaba is an African word for a, a meeting where everyone gathers in a circle, generally under a tree out in the bush. Um, and so we introduce a lot of different stimulants and thoughts for them to, to work with, both in terms of nature, culture, conservation, um, uh, and, uh, and and just so that they, are, they have an experience in one solid week. Um, there's nobody else comes in or out of the camp. We take over the whole camp, so there's no distractions at all. And in that week, they, um, they, they, it's a, it becomes a very transformative and life-changing week for them. Uh, and I do it because I'm passionate about wildlife and passionate about uh, the, the wilderness. And and for me, the opportunity to take people back there is a gift um, that goes on giving. Wow, that's amazing! I love to hear all the stories, and I can feel your passion about it and the importance of being. You know, we are so, we are more connected than ever before through technology, but more disconnected than ever before yeah. with ourselves. So this is very, very useful and important to have this time uh, with no distractions, as you mentioned. Thanks for sharing. Akira, uh, for those who just joined, um, we are briefly introducing ourselves before we start with the presentation. So let's hear from Akira and then Karen, please. Hi, hi everyone. Um, so I'm Akira. I'm Japanese. I'm joining from Tokyo right now. It's uh midnight. Um, so I'm a freelance professional coach. Um, I never worked in a travel or tourism industry in my career, but uh, I really love adventurous traveling and trekking mountains. So for example, like I went to uh Tibet, uh trekking in the Tibet, like like my current Zoom background and my direction is uh, my aspiration is to combine my coaching skill and some adventurous uh 
uh, traveling. So, you know, um, one of my dream is to to make some, uh, you know, self-disc recovery program or some leadership program in in, in some some remote areas. So, um, yeah, I, I, I've only got to learn about the concept of this transformative travel only uh, only this week. And I just uh, Google and I get to uh, get to know this uh, your organization. So I just I'm just joining today out of curiosity. So yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, wow, it's it's late uh, for you there. So thank you very much. I really appreciate that you are here today and you are watching this and, and, and being here with us live. Um, definitely in our community, we have people that are not in the background of travel. Most of them are in travel, but some of them are in personal development, in healing, or in the intersection of all, all these areas. So very welcome. Thank you. Um, let's hear from Karen and then Joe. Hi, I'm Karen, and I'm from Central Oregon. I live in a very small town and I am the um, web servant for the Chamber of Commerce and Visitor Center. And we have a visitor's bureau and we have a lot of uh, outdoor assets that are really remarkable and, and wonderful to see. And we've advertised those and, and people people do come and so forth, but we're interested into expanding into something more um, inclusive. Um, we get a lot of questions about whether it is safe for um, LGBTQ or people of color to come and, and um, travel here. And it is, it's safe, but we have, um, a reputation a lot along with a lot of rural areas that we are not. And so we would like to work with that and we would like to be able to offer people more of an experience other than just coming out to see the sites or hike the trails that there is something more involved. And so I'm here to see if we might be able to do that. And I really want to go on that safari. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. Yes, so we are going to talk about this and how we use transformational travel to actually go in deeper in having deeper experiences rather than the superficial aspects of travel. Thanks for being here today. Let's hear from Joe and then Ash. Okay, yes, uh, my name is Joe Hepplines and I um, have a travel agency. I've been doing it about two years. Um, I concentrate mainly on, on Europe and most of my clients are um, 45 or less, like they're older people. So that's, and I do a lot of uh, land tours and river cruises and small ocean cruises, mostly in Europe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thanks for being here, Joe. Yes, um, when, when the age is also a factor that we will talk about that, uh, you know, people that maybe find themselves in crossroads or transitions, they will be more called to these kind of experiences. So we will talk about this as well today. Thanks for sharing. Let's hear from Ash and then Theodora. Yeah. Uh, so hi, um, my name is Ash Swords and I have an ecotourism based travel agency and a wellness lifestyle brand. So travel has been more of an awareness piece for me. Um, mindset bringing that to the traveler and i even have a mindset program that i'm launching because there's no such thing as jet lag mm -hmm. so being able to integrate that but i only service doing off the beaten path and doing deep cultural immersion um, animal conservation i actually just got back from africa i'm a south african specialist and a middle east specialist um, with regenerative travel principles so transformative travel to me is already a way of life and then learning about TTC was like this huge light bulb moment um, because I'm a virtuoso travel agent um, and have been for about two years now so very very excited to be here and thank you Sonia um, for all the emails back and forth and <laughs> getting me here today so I greatly appreciate it. Thanks for being here and appreciate as well your time. Okay, 
I still cannot hear you. You see, you muted, so uh, um, no. Okay, I'm gonna go to the next person and see in the meantime you can fix that. I will come back, okay? Okay, let's hear from Becky and then uh, Sahara. We just introducing very briefly. Welcome, uh, who we are, where we are in the world, and what we do before we get started. So let's hear from Becky and then Sahara. All right, thank you, Sonia. Um, my name is Becky Oswald, I'm from Travel, Wyoming. Um, I'm just joining today to mostly listen. We're always looking for ways to provide that Wyoming Western experience and um, looking at some evolutions of our most recent campaign to do that. So I'm just here to kind of soak everything up. So nice to meet you all. Beautiful. Thank you, Becky. Sahara, and then we will go back to Theodora and see. Uh, Theodora, if you want to try to rejoin, maybe um, log off and log in again, maybe that will work. Okay, Sahara. Hi, um, I am in Sweden and um, I'm in holistic wellness. Okay. And I just I don't know how I got on the email list and I'm not quite sure what everything is, but I've gotten these emails and I was like, let's do it. Let's check it out. See what okay, it is. so you, you know nothing about the transformation of our council. Yep, that's good. So you have no expectations about what this is about. Okay, so I'm gonna try to do my best uh, to show you today in the amount of time that we have, who we are, the Transformational Travel Council, what we do, and ways that you can engage and collaborate if you, if you wish to do so. So I'm gonna accept Theodora and see if we have the opportunity to hear from her. In the meantime, please feel free to share in the chat if you wanna have um, you know, some contact details or maybe your LinkedIn profile, any way that you can connect with each other. Let's see, Taylor, if we are more lucky. Oh, that's strange because I see the mute, uh, like you're muted, you know? But it's not, I cannot help you either. Okay, no problem. And uh, Taylor, please put in the chat, you know, um, who you are, what you do, and and hopefully if we have time at the end, maybe we can we can come back to that, okay? Thank you everyone for being here. So I'm gonna share now my screen. And we will start with the presentation. If you have questions in the meantime, you can put them in the chat. So um, I expect we will have time for questions at the end. So I will go after when we finish, I will go to the chat and answer all the questions. And I will open also the mic for questions at the end, but we get started. So the Transformational Travel Council. So we are the global leader in transformational travel. We are all about community, and education, and we have we are here to help people to transform and harness the power of transformational travel, regenerate design, human connection, and solidarity that will change the world. Our stories, how everything started. Uh, we started back in 2016, so it was a group of uh, people that joined together to talk about the future of travel and revolutionize the industry. Um, just a few months after, we were at, on the cover of the Vogue magazine, which is something that we are very proud of. And we are creating a new category in travel that is guiding the future of travel. We believe transformational travel is the future of travel, or most now maybe the present, uh, since uh, the transformation economy that we will also talk in, in a few seconds now. Our vision is a travel that raises the collective consciousness of humankind, to regenerate and thrive, and our mission is to educate and advance tourism, travelers, and communities about the value of self-awareness. So everything starts with self-awareness, with ourselves, mutual respect, fairness, social and biodiversity. And we want to inspire these people, these communities, to make um, or to take meaningful action in their lives. Because uh, to make a uh, transformation, we need to make a change. And to make a change, in, we need to take action, right? So it's not only about inspiring, it's also about uh, making things happen. Our core, our core value is renewal. So we want here to uh, restore, invigorate, and refresh, and to return to an ideal true state. And this requires intentional action, as I mentioned, it's important uh, that this action is intentional. 
and the results of that is rewarding transformation, which is a lasting change, not just a temporary change that uh, most uh, trips, uh, you know, um, may have this temporary change, but then people come back to their homes and they go back to where they were before, right? So we want this to we want this uh, to sustain this this change. Um, so yeah, infusing vitality and sustainability. So what was the problem that um, we saw in the travel industry that the Transformational Travel Council is uh, trying here to, to solve? So the main problem is that tourism is in an existential crisis. So uh, we know, we are already aware of all the problems uh, that uh, tourism has. We are dealing with systematic issues and our industry is struggling with over-tourism, the generation of communities, climate crisis, right? People are distracted, people feel disconnected, and they hope that travel can help us, can, can provide them with more clarity. They can provide, you know, some answers, maybe connection, that they lost uh, purpose, right, or some meaning. But sadly, travel has become entitled, empty, exploitative, it's too easy, too accessible, maybe that's the problem, but eventually it, it's highlights the superficial and the artificial. Mm -hmm. So this is the problem. So where do we go from there, right? What we can do? Uh -huh. The solution that we propose here in the Transformation of Travel Council is a more mindful approach to travel, mindful approach to tourism that will change the world. And we say that in a very real sense, because we believe when the relationship with ourselves, the relationship with others, the relationship with nature uh, evolves, grows, uh, our systems evolve, and this is like a ripple effect, right? So everything is positive, positively impacted, travelers, hosts, communities, etc. So in its simplicity, uh, we suggest, or we would propose here, a deeper way of experiencing travel versus staying the superficial, going deeper, and that leads to a more conscious way of experiencing life as well, because this is not only about travel, this is not only about the travel experiences that we will have or our clients will have, but it's also the way we approach life. It's more like a, a, way, a way of living, right? So this is good for all. It's good for, for ourselves, for the communities, for the relationships. And to do that, we need to shift a paradigm. paradigm yeah? So we need to go from mindless traveler to a mindful traveler. So this means that um, you know the the, uh, yeah. the way that travel um, in the past or sometimes is still right is is rushed, is consumptive, is uh, you know extractive, superficial. So we need to make it more slow. We need to be more present. We mentioned earlier the importance of being present instead of being you know connected with technology that is not helping. We are too much in our minds. So how we can connect with our bodies with the present moment, make it regenerative. But also, you know, uh, mindless tourism to a mindful tourism. So empty, exploitative, ego-driven um, is going to be more, needs to be more ethical, more empathetic and ecological, right? So what's the problem with any change? We are talking here that something needs to change um, and something needs to change in the very core. So what's the problem with change? Um, like everything that we want to change in life, if you ever try to change something um like maybe sometimes people do, they do these new year resolutions at the beginning of the year and we know that um is uh, the likelihood that this will happen is, is low uh, the failure rate actually can go as high as 90 percent they say with any kind of change maintaining weight loss quit smoking um, fitness goals any change right so travel is not different so what we want travel professionals they are interested in transformation for their cultures for their customers, but they need to provide effective context. They need tools for behavioral change. And travelers, they are the ones that seek transformation through travel, but the action of sustaining this change, this transformation, can be difficult. And uh, as a result, uh, they can feel disappointed. The outcomes can, can just, you know, they, they feel dissatisfied. They are not satisfied with the, with the results. So what we do, our area of focus here, is to use uh, behavioral science to effectively guide transformation because there is a science uh, behind transformation. And I know that yeah. there is this uh, word, it's, it's, many people out there are saying transformation very easily and it's not so easy to deliver. And of course, nobody can promise transformation. We cannot promise transformation either. But there is some you know, steps that we can follow. There is some uh, 
you know, um, a structure that we can follow to increase this probability that people will have more transformational experiences when we design over, over travel experiences a certain way, right? So how to design these experiences for meaningful motivation, uh, to have a sustainable impact for our organizations and for, for our guests. And to explain that, I would like to uh, talk about the transformation economy. So maybe some of you have heard about the transformation economy already. So this comes from a publication that was a Harvard publication, uh, The New You Business. Um, if you haven't read, you can search online, it's in Google. And this is, uh, you know, something that Joseph Pine wrote. And he also has a very um, interesting, I think, uh, if you're interested in the transformation economy and going deeper to learn more about it, a YouTube video where he talks about transformation economy by Joseph Pine. So you can find the video that will explain. I think it's one hour long. But I would like to um, summarize here in a, in a few seconds what he said is that he used the example of coffee. Okay, so he, all, he, he used to talk about the experience economy and now he says that we are in the transformation economy, which is kind of another level of that. And he used the example of coffee. So coffee are actually coffee beans. Yes, yeah? so coffee beans, um, commodities are coffee beans. So these are um, two, three cents cost of a cup of coffee, right, in coffee beans. But if we take these coffee beans and we brew them, um, sorry, we roast them and we put them in package and we put them in the supermarket, then we have goods. And then maybe the, the two, three cents now is like 10, 15 cents. Uh, the cost of this coffee, right, in, in a cup of coffee. But if we brew this coffee and we do the service and we, you know, go to a coffee shop, then maybe we pay like two dollars or more for a cup of coffee. And it's the same coffee, right, that has these two or three cents. But then there are these companies that um, Starbucks or uh, Nespresso, that they make an experience of the coffee. And so it's not only a service, people go to Starbucks to have experience. So then people are able to pay, you know, they pay like uh, $4 or more for the same cup of coffee, which is like two cents uh, of cost of coffee beans, right? So they have, uh, the, you know, the, the Nespresso, they, they have these machines that you have the experience at home, or um, uh, Starbucks is another example. But then Joseph Pine says here that uh, we can, of course, say the same uh, the same examples, we can do it with travel. So people are not um, looking for experiences um, anymore, just, just experiences. They want something more. They want transformation. They want to come back transformed. They want to come back different, right? So this is where we are now. We are in the transformation economy. So that's why uh, we believe the transformation of travel is the future or just the present of travel, because it is what people, the market is ready. This is what people are, are looking for. And What's the theory of change? So what we do um, and in our courses and everything we offer, and um, you know, we are always uh, rooted in science, in positive uh, psychology, but also neuroscience, mythology, deep ecology, spiritual transcendence. But we are rigorously designed uh, a foundation framework where we explain, you know, we, we share all the research we've done um, of our experts. So we share everything that helps uh, travel and travelers to uh, switch from a passive and consumptive experiences to active and life-enriching practices. So this fosters the inner development, the, the personal growth. So we are trying here to reduce stress, to reduce burnout, depression, anxiety, disorientation, distraction, right? This is our problems that people have nowadays um, in their communities, um, in, in their lives. So how we can help to switch that with the help of travel, so we can help to boost self-awareness and consciousness, self-confidence is a big one that people are looking for to feel more confident. Understanding of themselves, understanding of the world, understanding of others, sense of belonging, another big one, right? And finding meaning and purpose through travel. So this is uh, maybe some of you um, recognize uh, the, the, the graphic in the center. So we are inspired by the hero's journey from Joseph Campbell. Our courses are inspired in, in the hero's journey and it's, it's a concept that's very used uh, in, in books and movies. You know, if, um, if, if you watch uh, or read uh, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, you know, that where the uh, hero uh, leaves the comfort of their life, so the comfort of their home and familiarity to embark in an adventure and they, they go to the unknown, right? 
Um, they feel this call to adventure and they cross this threshold from the known to the unknown. And then we it's, it's the similar travel we do, right? We go to the unknown. So um, when we uh, have this, uh, you know, the call to adventure and then this hero is actually meeting some allies, they are meeting also some, you know, overcome some challenges and ordeals and, uh, to overcome, um, they call it the, the dark night of the soul, and then comes back different. So at the other side of that, and this hero comes back home, transformed, comes back home with a gift uh, that can share with their family and friends. So that's uh, why there is uh, this, uh, you know, we start with where I am, why we are traveling, the intention is very important, how we travel, right, uh, is not the same. So the, the way you're going to travel, how you go and how you return. So there is a before, during and after. And this is what makes transformational travel um, different from other kind of trips. So there is a preparation. People need to be prepared before, and then there is an integration or incorporation after to make sure these changes are incorporated to the life um, of the person. So they don't go back to status quo, they don't go back to where they were before. So by our experiences, people that uh, are looking, you know, feel attracted uh, to transformational travel or looking for transformational experiences, they are often in one of these three uh, situations, uh, the three Ds, disruption, discomfort, or desire. So they are uh, often people who are at uh, life crossroads or career crossroads. So something um, may have changed for them. Uh, they, something is, is different. They cannot go uh, business as usual. Maybe they uh, broke up with a relationship. Maybe, you know, their career, um, they are approaching retirement. There is some change somehow in their life. That what, what was working until now does not work in the new, in the next phase, right? So they want to use travel as a catalyst for that, maybe clarity to find answers, um, reconnecting with who they are or what they want to do with their life after in this next next phase of their life. The other uh, D is discomfort, so not necessarily anything changed, but just they feel something is off, something is not you know right. So they want to use travel to actually kind of um, feel better or find something. They know there is maybe sometimes we need to travel or go outside of our familiar yeah. environment to find answers we cannot find at home. So it's this kind of uh, you know travelers that are looking for something that they cannot find at home because they feel discomfort. Because we saw, we just uh, mentioned that uh, change is not easy, right? So if, if somebody is happy and somebody is comfortable, why would they change? What would they make the effort to actually change anything if they are happy? So it's some, um, it is something that they are looking for, that uh, they are looking, that is pulling them to, to change, is motivating them to, to change, right? But the last one is desire. So in this one, the person is not necessarily feeling discomfort or nothing has you know, happened necessarily in their life. It's just they have always this desire to grow, to learn, to uh, be the best they can be, right? So even they are happy and they're okay, but they know there is more for them. So there is this, uh, you know, desire to to grow, to to be always the best version they can be. So these are the three catalysts, transformational catalysts that uh, we recognize from our experiences. And sometimes this, you know, um, disruption, uh, this change, it can be like a life milestone. You know, people turning. 40, 50, 60, right? And it's like, okay, I'm going to stop and see where I am. Um, if I am in the place I wanted to be, what is going to be my next uh, phase, right? Life crossroads, relationships, etc. So when people uh, travel, they help to have new perspectives, uh, new points of view. They expand the, you know, the, the vision. They have a better understanding of themselves and others. Um, I remember, um, I, I don't know if I mentioned it earlier, but I'm originally from Spain, but I live in Ireland. So I moved um, eight years ago, and I remember it was very clear to me when I moved that what was me and what was my Spanish background, my Spanish culture. So some people, sometimes we need to move to a different culture to really understand themselves, uh, who they are really are authentically versus who they were, you know, taught to be or, or the where they were, you know, um, kind of educated to be. So better understanding of ourselves, better understanding of others, that there is other ways to live, you know, there is not only one way, there are many ways to, to see things differently and there is no better words, better understanding of the world, and then do different. So how we can 
course, leave our comfort zone. We talk about the hero's journey, how it is important to leave the familiarity of our comfort zone and have this uh, human connection, you know, meeting people, meeting local people, other travelers. So when people see different and do different, they are different, they become different. So the translation is this, the result is this personal growth, um, this clarity, confidence, uh, more open-minded, right? Change in perspective, in perspective that actually will uh, deeper this relationship with themselves, with the world and with others. So this is um, the way that we are, you know, seeing the, the, the change we are trying to make here in travel. And if you are wondering how you can get involved, if you are, what you are seeing, you, you know, um, relate with this, if you're going to be part of this, I want to share you ways that you can, um, you know, engage with us. If you believe, uh, you know, this is your community, if you believe uh, in the cause, that, in the vision and the mission we have. So we are building, as I said, we are all about education and community. So we have a community of like-minded minded people like us from different backgrounds that they are passionate about transformational travel. So we have this uh, community of allies. We call them our members of the community are called allies. Um, my role is the head of allies, so I'm the one who has the honor to host uh, you know, the sessions and be the contact point for our members. So when you join our community, these are some of the benefits that you will have if you are part of our community. It's a membership-based community. So we have the opportunity to um, be visible through our website. So as I mentioned, we are the global leader in transformational travel, and we have thousands of people reaching our websites, so they can find you and your work your business through our website. Um, if you are a member, you will have this market visibility and your profile. And we also have networking opportunities. So we meet at least twice a month. We are gathering together for, um, uh, for you know, uh, one hour each time. We also have this opportunity to learn from each other to, you know, people are, um, they tend to make business or do business with people they like, know and trust. So that's why we are meeting periodically and we uh, you know, learn from each other. We understand what the other person is doing. So we are able to refer people to them or we just connect them with people that we know that will be a good contact for them. We also have educational events that are only for members. We have gatherings for members. We have groups of Facebook, LinkedIn and WhatsApp where you, know, if you cannot wait until the next session we meet uh, via Zoom, you can reach out via WhatsApp and say, look, I need somebody who knows who has a contact in this place or you know, whatever you, you need, you can reach out. You have the opportunity to be a speaker in one of our events so people will see, uh, will understand better, you will have more visibility and this translates, of course, in more clients and referrals. And you also have the opportunity to engage with our media heralds. So we have another community of members which are top journalists. They also meet periodically, but once a quarter we meet together. So allies and heralds meet together. So you have also the opportunity to make these connections with uh, top journalists. So um, they are always looking for stories to, you know, to write about. So maybe you can be featured in one of their magazines or their next articles. Uh, we will promote you through our newsletter thousands of followers uh, in social media. You, if you're a member, you also will have discounts in our courses and you will have your logo so you can showcase uh, on your website or in your uh, email. So if uh, this is something that you know resonates with you and you're gonna be part of it, these are the membership levels that we have. A small business level is for people who are five or less uh, staff members. And this is 37 US dollar a month. Or if you pay annually, you will actually save uh, 20%. So you will pay $2.99 uh, for one year if you are medium or large. So here you have the different uh, levels. So the other way you can get, you can uh, be in, in, engaged with us, or you can collaborate with us, or you can be part of what we do is uh, through our courses. So we have community and we have courses. So our signature course is a transformational travel design course. Okay, so this is um, the one that we are uh, giving uh, to the students that join us the set of tools that they can use to design and create transformational uh, customer journeys. So when you join, you will receive frameworks, you will receive best practices, case studies of uh, the transformation economy and the transformational uh, travel. You can connect with a global cohort of professionals because everybody who you know uh, join with these um, our courses, we are going to be together for uh, weeks. Um, so you will have the opportunity to get to know each other and, you know, be connected. And I know these connections are way after the course finished. They are still uh, in touch and partnerships and collaborations um, have uh, come from these uh, cohorts. 
and you will have the opportunity to do a capstone project. So this is not only theory that we will share with you. So we will share everything we know with our research and our experts, but you also will have um, something tangible that you will leave the course with. So people come sometimes with an idea. Some people that join the, um, the program, they only um, feel attracted to transformational travel, but they, they don't know anything. So they come with this idea. Other people are already experts. They are doing transformational travel for long. So they are joining to have this you know elegant idea that will switch and change everything for their business for the better. So they can provide better services, more transformational experiences, which also, of course, translates in, um, you know, uh, customer satisfaction and referrals. So the Capstone project is uh, uh, something tangible, as I mentioned, that you will leave the course with and something you can implement straight after the course to your business. And you can, uh, you, it's something that you can uh, use for your business and you will have the feedback from our facilitators as well to uh, make sure what you are doing with the example of your case and your business, um, you know, you will have this back and forth with her until it's, it's ha you are happy with it. So you will have also this badge uh, the as a transformer, as a graduate of the Transformational Travel Council that you can show in your website or in your email. So you will have this awareness and lead generation as well because you will be accredited by the Transformational Travel Council. And you will have, uh, you know, your values, personal and professional values aligned. aligned. So if you are interested in joining uh, both the allyship and the course, I recommend always to join the allyship community first, because then you get 15% discount in the course. Okay, so you don't need to join both. You can just join the community and not take the course. You can join the course and not be a member. But if you want to do both, join first the community, so you will have 15% discount in the course. So the courses that we have coming this, this year, we have two left, okay? So there is the same course, the Transformational Travel Design course, in two formats. One is five week and the other is five day. This will just depend on your, your time, right? Or the way you learn better. So during five week, uh, we will meet uh, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, two hours every day for five weeks, okay? So and you, which means you will have more time between sessions to self-reflection, to do, you know, um, to go deeper. But if you say, look, I only have um, five days, I cannot be five weeks, we have an intensive version of it, which it happens uh, three days, one week, two days, the second week. Okay, so it's longer uh, for three days, one week, and two days, the second week. So these are the dates um, and, and uh, the prices. Even, yeah, the prices are here as well. So five weeks signature course, October 8, November 7. 1950 US dollars and this if you want you, you will have also the opportunity to pay in three monthly installments interest free so you can pay in three in three times and the five day intensive uh, is uh, 1500 US dollars so the price difference is just because the support you will have you know one uh, it will be longer the five weeks you will have five weeks support back and forth and going deeper and more time uh, between sessions. So if none of these uh, times uh, work for you, we also have private uh, courses. If you want for your company or you know if you want to do it for your uh, team, we also do courses on private request. So uh, to know what you get from the course, I know sometimes it's difficult to find you know uh, what you will get actually by joining the course. So I have here a couple of examples of students. Uh, Julia, Juliana from Barracuda Group, she said, if your business reflects your personal purpose and you believe it can contribute to the human evolution and also leave a legacy for future generations, the Transformational Travel Design Program will inspire and guide you through the process of designing transformative experiences to your clients. And Eleanor Fish from uh, Unwild Fits, she said the course uh, good language to the process they were witnessing mm -hmm. and the best to go through without fully re realizing what they were experiencing. And she used the Capstone project to redesign the whole customer onboarding process so she could better support the transformation of their clients. And this course was a revelation. So another question I have sometimes is how we use the phones. Um, so here are the ways we use the phones, uh, research, innovation to continue you know, investing in transformational travel, education program development, climate action and conservation, uh, program grants for communities and scholarships for individuals, and go to market. So our profit goes to the Transformational Travel Institute that will advance well-being, peace, eco-consciousness, and provide our transformational programs to marginalized places and people. So you are welcome also to check our website 
the Transformational Travel Institute as well. So I am finishing with that and I will open for questions. So if you don't know where to start and if you, you like and you love what you see, but you don't know how to start, I want to invite you to be a guest of our next um, ally gathering. So these gatherings are only for allies, but if you're interested and, and you would like to you know, see and try if this is for you or not, uh, you are invited as my guest to join our next uh, gathering, uh, Coffee and Connect, which is uh, the uh, next Wednesday, 25th. At uh, the same time, we have this uh, meeting today, 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern, or 5 p.m. if you are in Europe, Central European time, okay? And um, that's it, guys, for today. I'm going to check the chat and see if there are questions. And I will also open, if you have any questions, feel free to raise your hand. Let me see the chat first. Awareness is another one thing. I find it more impactful. Yes. Agree. My like gross of this is only what led me to that social travel experience. Thanks, guys, for sharing. Yes, so this is uh, what people uh, tend to be in, in these crossroads when, when they uh, look for transformational travel experiences. So um, I'm going to open for questions. So take the opportunity to ask any questions you have about what we do, about uh, ways uh, to be engaged or to collaborate with us. I will be happy to answer. Any questions, guys? Sometimes people feel that they have a very specific question, but I'm sure if you are thinking about something, other people here in the call maybe are wondering the same. So just yeah. ask away. Yeah. Ask them, yeah. Um, so with the um so with the five week, the signature. How many times are you meeting? Because I'm trying to see if that works. I literally leave November 8th and then I don't come back until January. Mm -hmm. So that's what, because I'll be traveling that entire time. Um, so that's what I'm trying to look at right now is like, how is that five week program set up? Like, is it like once or twice a week? I was looking on the website at the same time trying to find Okay. It. Yes, the five-week signature, the one in October. It starts the 8th of October and the last day is the 7th of November. And the meetings are happening Tuesdays and Thursdays during these weeks between the 8th of October and 7th of November. Tuesdays and Thursdays. So it's 10 times, five weeks, 10 times, uh, two hours each time. Okay, and it starts uh, one hour later than the call today. So it's 9 a.m. Pacific, 12 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central European time for two hours. Tuesdays and Thursdays, between the 8th of October and the 7th of November. Okay, and then it's a mix between, obviously, like doing Zoom call classes, and we have an online portal. Yes, yes. you will have the online portal, you will have, you know, the, the, the curriculum there, uh, that you will have this preparation before the sessions, and then we will have the sessions live on Zoom, yes. Do you have access to any of the material prior? Mm -hmm. you do yes okay so like we could actually be getting our feet wet yes. I mean I know it's actually really it's only like three weeks but mm -hmm. we could be getting our feet wet going through the materials and actually like seeing what it's like before we start the live that's correct and actually uh, Professor Ivana will reach out as soon as you sign up you know to make sure you are registered and then before the sessions she has this preparation before the call so we use the same system the before during and after in the course as well so you will have time before we meet for the first time in person uh, via zoom to do some um i don't want to say homework but you know some some things that you need to do before uh, to get to get ready yes okay um i'm gonna do the five week Perfect, yes. Yeah, so I will I'm send you the link. I will send guys uh, today the link of the recording of this session. And if you're interested to join the allyship community or the courses, you will have also the option to register. I will also send you the links for that. I've done this one time before with you, by the way. Okay. But it was before I had to leave for like four months. I and see. I have thought about it the entire time mm -hmm. thought about thought about this 
and how big it is. And I actually was at Virtuoso Travel Week and I ran into someone who's a part of TTC. And he like literally, he was like, I know you. And I was like, we've never met before. And he's like, I saw you in a Zoom call. And he's actually an ally member. And when we talked and I was like, okay, I was like, that was the sign that I needed, my synchronicity. So Delighted. thank you. Thanks for sharing that. Yes, so powerful. Looking forward to welcoming you on board. Thanks. Yes, Gabriel, please. Yeah, I really found it um, very, you know, your presentation very interesting. I mean, um, um, we're very aligned with with what you're doing, with the direction you're going, with the with the theory, the philosophy, the and and the the approach that transformational council is taking. Um, and and in fact, I mean, without knowing it, it's it's we have that's this it's exactly that sort of stuff that we have built in. For example, when you were talking about the transformation catalysts. Um, and you went through catalyst and see different, uh, do different, be different. Um, we do the same in the course of the week. We, um, we, but we have, we start with inspiration being the, being the, 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 the catalyst, see different is passion, do different is purpose. And then, um, the be different is the impact that, 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 that you, you make by understanding your own purpose and getting out there. And we add another layer to that, which we call keystone, which is really modeling on keystone species, um, which are species in nature um, that create a, a beneficial outcome for others in their ecosystem. Um, and so what we're trying to do with our guests is we're trying to get them to understand that um, once you get to this point of impact, a lot of your effort needs to be doing things for others in the ecosystem that will create beneficial outcomes for them that they may not otherwise be able to to get um, without you being there so that's kind of that's where we're going with it and as i'm listening to this i'm saying okay i feel very much uh, aligned with what it is that you're doing but i don't know what the benefit would be to us in 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 participating and that's a very selfish point of view because i believe very very strongly in getting away from mindless tourism and god knows i see enough of that in africa into mindful tourism um and so i i very i mean i'm, I'm very much aligned with what you're doing but i i guess i haven't yet seen the the value of uh, a bit of, of ally, ally being being an ally mm -hmm. i you raise your hand because you want to answer here Yes. Okay. I can actually explain it directly to you, Hugh, because exactly what you just said, people like me coming from Virtuoso and other host agencies and knowing that I can't connect with every single partner. But what you just said is exactly why I would want to be a part of this, because I want to align with partners that can actually help transform my clients. So it can't just be on me. I'm a travel designer and I infuse wellness in an entire mindset program. But if I don't have someone that is receiving my client on the other side, what is the purpose? So having you as an ally and knowing that I have others that physically drive the inspiration and even talk about keystones, like the fact that you just even integrated that because wildlife conservation and being able to especially going because I'm an Africa specialist. So going to Africa, so many people go to the areas that these, these animals are not even able to travel in a correct manner because of the flock of tourism, what they're doing, how they're impacting our migration. That is, that's terrible. I'm sorry. I can't get behind that. But then having someone that I can be on a zoom call and I can say, Hey, this is why I believe this area for going to this portion of Africa and what we're going to be exploring and how you're going to be able to see animals ethically. I want you to be able to actually connect with you with me, having that kind of ally partnership. Those are the kind of things that I've been looking for. And Sonia has been nice enough that she's dealt with some of my crazy emails asking questions because I already work with MEA. So when I heard that MEA was a part of this and a part, one of the allies, I was like, hold on. I was like, now we're really talking about something that's groundbreaking. Now, Hugh, you would want to be connected with people like that. 
It's power of partnership and power of referral business and community and us being able to talk to each other and say, hey, I'm having a difficult time actually marketing myself and having people want to go as far to Africa. And that's something that you have difficulties with is because people say, hey, I've only got seven days. Well, now I break the barrier for that because there's no such thing as jet lag. So now you and I have an instant partnership, buddy. <laughs> I like Sorry, it. Ash. I didn't mean to take your platform, but that's just, I like it. These are the things that we need more of. We need the power of others that are allies and want to transform travel because travel as we see it is so broken. It's so broken. Yeah. People are tourists yeah. instead of being explorers. Yeah. And we want to actually, we want to empower our customers and empower this world to transform their life through the love language of travel. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. That, that, that's very helpful uh, because I know and feel that a lot of what we're doing is out of step with, for example, the safari industry. I mean, the safari industry is into getting people in and out of different camps, two or three days here, two or three days there, two or three days the next place. And I'm saying, what do they really learn? They skim and it's just it's scratching the surface. And we go into camp for seven days straight and we're the only ones there. And so we really get a much deeper immersion. And that's how that's fundamental part of our of our philosophy and our approach is to give people yeah they don't see five different places they don't go to five different lodges they go to one but it's good enough and we make it so great for them or the experience that they don't want to move by the end of the week they they don't want to leave um so that's part of of our approach is to is to try to make it a much deeper and a much more um soulful experience for them that that will never ever leave them and in fact they will take it away and they will do something differently afterwards as a, as a consequence they will be different as a consequence so and and i mean i I can't tell you how how much it it upsets me to see, you know, places like the Kruger Park is a wonderful place in South Africa and it's a place that's affordable and people can go. But um, you know, the the it's a it's a glorified zoo. Um and and, and it's hunted. You know, so, huh? It's hunted. They, they yeah. try to tout that they are conservationists and they are not. No, I they are not. I don't actually support that side of South Africa. I support um, the Eastern Cape and right. the Elephant Coast. But I'm with you because I went to South Africa for two weeks. I took myself um, and actually my partner. And um, now I went on 26 game drives between seven lodges. But I did that to myself. I would never do that to a client because I wanted to make sure that I chose the correct place. Right. Right. Day three is magical because the first day you may not be guaranteed anything. Second day, you get a glimmer. And the third day, you're like, whoa, I'm hooked. Yeah. And you make relationships. So staying in places, slow travel is what I like to promote. Yeah. We need more of that. So please be please be an ally. And Hugh, put your info. I want to talk to you. So and I hope your, your question is answered with that. Yep. Yeah, thank you. Good. Um, okay, we have a few minutes for any other question. Theodora, we see you now. Yes, hello. Sorry, I was on the phone. Uh, now I'm on tablet, so I can at least speak. Uh, thanks a lot. It's, it's very powerful. I'm the second time, basically, <laughs> again, on your presentation, because first time I missed part of it, so I really wanted to be sure that I understand everything. And I deeply resonate with the transformative travel and very beautiful uh, thoughts here uh, and reflection by Ash and, and who. So, yeah, I really want to join. At some point, not sure that it will be this time, but probably I'll become a ally. Although I don't have any particular yet private business, I'm in a regular nine to five, nine to six, whatever job, but I want to transition and create a platform. I think I told you last time for, um, for transformative travel and features many people there and to connect. So the, the idea of community and be part of a bigger world that really helps each other, it's super. 
So, <laughs> so I'm really help, help to, you know, hoping to, 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 to join the community first, probably, not probably, I will join the community and then at some point um, do the, the course. Thanks a lot. Yes, Very so happy to be here. Benefit from yeah, meeting other people that are already doing that and they will show you how they are doing it and you will feel inspired, definitely. This uh, yes. the network is going to be so powerful for you. Thanks for sharing. Karen, I think you raised your hand. I did. Um, I'm in a little bit different um, point of view because we are just part of Travel Oregon and Travel Oregon promotes all kinds of different travel uh, across the state. And they are into experiences and moving in, into transformative kinds of things. But um, I'm part of the Chamber of Commerce and we don't make money. We are given money through fees and so forth. And we exist on that. And so um, whatever goes out does not come back in. And we would very much like to have more experience around our, um, our travel. We'd like to have much more sustainability and so forth. But we actually have no travel businesses in town. There is nobody that does tours or that rents kayaks or anything like that. And um, <laughs> you're looking at me like, really? And that so, um, because and so beautiful. We would love to have that kind of thing. That the closest is 20 minutes down the road. But we would like to, um, and that's a resort, which is great. But we're a small town and we're pretty folksy and we'd like to be, um, you know, a little, I guess, a little more down to earth than the golf course and um, and offer this kind of thing, even if it's self-guided. And we don't know how to get started. We have no money to hire or give me more hours to do anything like this. Um, how do we do that? So what is the, what do you need? <laughs> I'm not even sure we know what we need, but we sit here. I mean, I make, I make day trip brochures and so forth, but it's like, I don't know. It's like an old sunset magazine thing where it tells you, well, go here um eat at this place and and look at the view from here and so and that's wonderful and it's much more than we had before but it certainly is not transformational unless the person makes it so themselves but it it's not something that guys um, <laughs> i know how to fix this <laughs> i know how to fix this okay, okay. <laughs> Um, first off, you need, because you are a chamber of commerce, you need to be a part of referral networking groups. That's going to be your biggest thing. Um, I'll, I put my information in there because I'm going to have to jump to another Zoom. But I actually, I know several groups. I just got back from Oregon, north portion of Oregon and Washington. And so we're working in this area for transformative travel. So Sonia, I got you. And Karen. <laughs> so, um, but alignable is going to be one of your biggest things. Um, it, and that connects so many people. Um, and then also with you being in the Northern Pacific, because um, that connects a lot of like your local places. What part of Oregon are you in? Central Oregon, near Bend. Central. Okay. Uh, about 45 minutes south of Bend. Okay. Okay. Um, definitely just send me an email. I'm going to put you in connection with somebody that at least I know in Oregon out there that they may, I mean, they would want to be a part of the, yeah. I mean, all of us want to be a part of the commerce anyways, and being able to get our small businesses out. So yeah. having more of those people that even know yeah. that, I mean, that would be one of the things that I would look at. Um, alignable would be one of the biggest ones for networking. Yeah, and I will also uh, encourage you, Karen, to take the invitation and join us for the next event so you can 
meet members of the TTC and ask the same question. So like I sh the connections, you know, they can connect with people that maybe will help you to find solutions. Mm -hmm. I should be able to do that. Great. Thank you guys. So um, any other question? Joe, any question? I haven't heard from you, all good? Okay, so it's time to say goodbye then. I will send you a recording and I will reach out. So you have any questions, feel free to send me an email. My email is sonia at transformational.travel. It was a pleasure to be here today and meet you, everybody. Send you lots of love. Chat soon. Bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.